Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me. Got my six, need to have my back because I have yours. We are going to pull from the yin and yang oracle to see what energy. There is some type of renewal happening for you. Um, yeah, there you have it. Uh, creating sparks in your life and maybe the summer will be the best time for you to get out and get get up get out and get something yep you're finding your purpose and you're taking action and at the bottom of the deck there was lack or any kind of some kind of doubts in your past and so therefore you're trusting in the universe you're using your power and your purpose and you know in order for you to be able to make decisions and do the things that you need to do um, for yourself and so this is a very empowering move for you and so to most everybody uh they won't understand that but to you you're like i like the way this feels i hate giving my power away i love to help but i hate to feel like i'm giving my power away to a person place thing or situation who really doesn't appreciate you and so therefore that's the re yep you're manifesting you're going back to your old ways you're dancing you're listening to music yeah you want generational wealth and so for in order for you to do that you have to take the people who deplete you and uh, move them to the sidelines. And so you want generational wealth. You're showing your talents and you're going to be re rewarded. Um, it says monetary gifts and it says rewards. We like rewards and sufficient and comfort. Sufficiency and comfort is where you were at some point. And now it's like sufficiency is happening. Um, you were sufficient in comfort, not about money, but about the way you gave money. But that caused lack and it caused you to doubt yourself. And so now what you're doing is focusing directly on you and moving forward, if that makes sense. And so therefore, when it comes to everything that you need to do, the renewal is happening because you're deciding to manifest the things that you want and stop giving your power away to person, places and things and situations. Yeah, but you, the Queen of Cups energy, you are giving your uh, you are. Yeah, look at that. You're having your cake and eating it too because your empathetic nature, you being the queen of cups, is basically letting you know that your compassion, calm, and comfort energy when it comes to the nine of cups energy, your emotional stability, and you receiving not really wanting luxury but knowing that luxury comes to you. But again, you've been giving away your power and giving away uh, and not focusing on your talents and therefore putting energies into everybody else. And so now it's time for you to shine. Uh, my grandbaby used to listen to, uh, oh, I can't think of it, but it's like, it's your time to shine. But yeah, this is a really good read. The Ten of Cups energy being here is just letting you know that your inner happiness, your dreams and everything, fulfillments and things are coming true. But it took adversity for you to get to that. That's the reason why the Seven of Swords is here. There was some type of betrayal or um, somebody getting away with, um, you know, uh, manipulating or not necessarily manipulating you using your love and your uh, sufficiency and comfort that, you know, because in love, if we feel comfortable and we feel like we're giving everything to a person, they'll really see our worth. But now the confidence is here and you're starting to work on yourself and really know what the betrayal has been or not necessarily betrayal, the deception of people and the things that you really let get away because you really saw what it was when it came to dealing with this situation. And so or these people, places, and situations. And so, therefore, it's just like you're taking your power back and going from there. I'm going to pull from, um, I can't think of the name of the deck, uh, Maruk X's deck, in order for us to get um, a basically better uh, understanding of what it is like to manifest the things that you want. Yeah, so what I'm pulling from is the evolution of the soul deck. And so this is showing how you evolve without with adversity. When you evolve, when you um, stop giving your power away and start manifesting the things that you know you deserve. And it's not really about finance. It's you just taking your power back and understanding the difference between somebody taking advantage of your kindness, and you know, taking your kindness for weakness, you know. And it's just like, no, you know, you let people get away with certain things, but once you come up with this strategy and you're just like, you know what? No, this is something that I have to do for myself. Look at all these cards that come out. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, mature soul. Once you really realize the confidence and the queen of, uh, the queen of wands energy, confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself, own your flaws, and rock them without caring what others think. 
excuse me, your maturity um, of the way you look at things. It says embracing others. It says lessons, empathy, self-awareness, traits, introspection, inquisitive, and sensitive. Exactly. And that is who, that's who the Queen of Cups is. And when you have all of that in one within yourself, then you're okay with opening up your life and understanding that, you know, it's okay to have the things. It's okay to attract the things that you know that you've given away because you feel guilty in regards to your purpose and knowing that you can have anything. Again, the Queen of Pentacles, we're the mother of the Zodiac, but we're the nurturers. If the Queen of Pentacles comes out, like JDS Tarot says, the Queen of Pentacles can be toxic to herself because she gives and will do anything. And the saying that I learned when it came to the Queen of Pentacles is a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life. Protect and care for them no, no matter what. That no matter what is toxic. That no matter what, it will make us give to our last penny and still be okay with that until we start feeling some type of way and start taking things personal. But once you mature and you know and you're confident within yourself and you know that your sufficiency and comfort comes with the blessings from the universe, right? The North Node, the cosmic, you will start to look at things in a different light and be okay with manifesting, but you're not going to pour from an empty cup. You're going to fill your cup up and that's the earth soul that you are and the playfulness type of person that you are. And it says Syrian, the criminal mind. Yeah, you can't. Because when people get you out of your, yeah, the answers are within, that's the biggest thing right here is that your playfulness, um, you know, you being the earth soul, and it says stick to what is socially accepted. That's what you kind of do. You stick to what's socially accepted, but you don't want to be in the limelight. So you you rather let somebody else shine than to allow yourself to shine because you feel good about doing for people. Your sufficiency and comfort comes from you giving your blessings and receiving them in different aspects of life but your playfulness your wittiness and then it says the siren it says lead a simple but spiritual life you trust in the universe but at some point you it makes you feel some type of way oh sorry my phone is up loud that's my sister hold on one second okay yeah so that was my sister um so basically the answers are with them but criminal minds is like you so when you get to a point to where you are um how do you call it you when you get to a point to where you start to feel and take things personally based upon a person's disrespect towards your kindness, then it's the criminal aspect. You got to talk yourself down and talk yourself out of doing something that is going, you're going to regret, regret down the line. So the only thing you can do in this situation is kind of mature, use your confidence, also show them better than they can tell you. You know, what did Beyonce's song say? Um, okay, I'm not even going to quote her song because I can't remember. It was something like, uh, show them show them you know was that beyonce i don't even know if it was beyonce that's crazy because I, I follow not her new stuff but the old stuff but um it was a song that said you know get back in your bag basically um or jack would not jack please but k camp you know get your bag up you know fix your credit get back fine i would say that go get your degree focus on 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 you you know what i mean like and that's kind of how i see it so instead of making criminal <laughs> Yeah, having cr having criminal thoughts, go ahead and just focus on the things that you need to focus on. And that's you maturing and, and understanding that the answers come with the end. They're always been there. But the renewed spark is you just listening to the universe and understanding who you are as a person. And then realizing that sufficiency and comfort comes from the things that you've always had, but you've given it away. And you're just going to kind of not necessarily hoard it because you don't feel like you don't want to be considered a hoarder or feel like, you're hoarding your 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 blessings. Um, so it's just like you taking things and going from there, if that makes sense. And so the LV, uh, LVL1 consciousness says your identity, I, you, excuse me, you identify with the physical realm. You've absorbed the values of society. Material success and status defines you. So again, sufficient and comfort, comfort, see, but comfort, but the, I said comfort, see, but you see basically what the world revolves around and it's materialistic things and that has never been you if that makes sense so when it comes to the syrian it says lead a simple but spiritual life draw secure drawn to carry for our earth to care for our earth which is the people in, on the earth and it says connections to ascend mass to ascended masters it says stick to what is socially accepted desire to belong to a community spiritual evolve here on earth but the thing is is that once you realize how people are in the materialistic person people and what they will do for money right 
um, you have to really realize that the answers are within. And material success and status defines you, but it's, it doesn't. It, it defines you on how you give to a person, place, situation, and your energy to people. But now it's going to be different. The tables are turned. You're maturing and you're understanding. You're embracing otherness, but you're also learn, learning the lessons of empathy and self-awareness. But the traits are introspection, inquisitive, and sensitive again. And so... The Queen of Wands energy says confidence shines from the end when you love yourself first, right? Own your flaws, right? Your flaws is the way that you love and the way that you give and rock them without caring what others think. So, yeah, your sufficiency and comfort is going to be that. But the answers have always been within. So it says connecting to your higher self, strengthening your intuition, letting your intuition guide you. And so that is what you're doing. You're letting your intuition guide you into this thing we call life. And some to some it's material and to some it's... Um, and to you, it's not. And so, you know, the material is just going to be there. But now you're going to start saving and putting things up for a rainy day when before you manifested the things for a rainy day in the process of manifesting, right? And so the bottom of the deck is Nine of Cups. Exactly. Nine of Cups comes out twice. Live in a constant state of gratitude. Live in a constant state of gratitude. And that is what you do. However, when you deal with people that take your kindness for weakness, Knight of Wands energy, which is my Drake energy, and the Three of Wands energy, it's like the Knight of Wands says sometimes you have to be willing to bend the rules a little. And so those rules that you had in the past, you know, this is you taking action. You only live once. Uh, this girl is sneaking out the window. But you're bending the rules. You're doing things that you wouldn't normally do. And this also Three of Wands energy, it says put yourself out there and you'll be what rewarded one way or another, and that is where the sufficiency and comfort comes in. Live, uh, um, live in a constant state of gratitude. And so that is where you understand who you are. You're grateful for the lessons. Thank everybody. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation taught you a lesson. And so, therefore, you're understanding and trusting in the universe, and you know that the law of attraction is real, but it starts with your confidence and also you maturing to realize that you were here to try to fix things, but you can't fix everybody in every situation. So that is kind of how I see that, if that makes sense. Yeah, so what happens is that, like I say, the Three of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Cups being here, the Queen of Wands. And, you know, it's a lot of wand energy here. So maybe you could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it's just that you have that fire under you, which is the law of attraction. You know, this is you being in the Mars energy and going from there. So it's just you understanding your power and you're taking it back. And so, you know, before you were kind of in the middle, I always say zero to 100 real quick. You're at 100. You're not at zero where you're neutral. You're not in the middle where you are, you know, like, uh, you know, like uh, stagnant or starting to feel some kind of way. You're at 100 where you're starting to manifest the things that you want and it's all about you. And because you tried to be this earth soul, you tried to be this Syrian and um, tried to do all these things. But that at the end of the day, you realize that the answers are within. It has nothing to do with anybody else. So now we can go to pulling the four agreements. If you want to know a little bit, you know what? Nope. Let me go ahead and pull from the um, archetype and trait um, deck to see um, who and where this person is. I've been watching so many trials. It's just uh, crazy. Um, yeah, this is a person that you were that was you were codependent on, right? And now there might be a new person coming into your life, um, a new lover, um, a partner, someone you barely know, or someone you have you you have yet to meet might be coming in your life because of what you're attracting now, the type of energy that you're attracting um, when it comes to, yeah, true love, look at that, and the spiritual elder. So you're maturing. Yeah, you're maturing. The Larian says excel in physical activities, binge in physical joys, freedom fighter, go from fleeing to fleeing, hardly settle. So this is the type of energy we're in, and now, or, or a person you were dealing with was in, but now you're the spiritual leader. You're the person who needs to teach what it is that, you know, these people need to learn. You, they're learning from your past um, lessons, you know, and I'm not going to say mistakes, they're lessons. So the spiritual elder, destined to become a spiritual elder, easily discern truth from illusion, non-judgmental and unconditional love. That's a part of who you are. You know, you're going to always take care of the people who you love, but at the same time, when they start to take your kindness for weakness, then you have to realize that you have to put yourself first. You have to put yourself first. Again, it says put yourself out there 
and you'll be rewarded one way or another. And that is because the answers are with the end. So you're going to trust in the universe, live in a constant state of gratitude. You're going to be grateful for the situation and true love that showed his face. Experiencing true love in your life, being a in a loving long term union, a selfless and unconditional love. And that's what you really wanted from the beginning. So the mature soul and the spiritual elder is because it, this came out. Um, and again, again, thank everybody. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This came out because of the type of energies that you were living, uh, uh, dealing with going from fling to fling and hardly settling, you know. And so that is why you were able to become this mature spiritual leader and tell people based upon your past lessons about what true love really is. And it's not about material. It's about how you feel unconditionally or how somebody treats you unconditionally and um, makes you uh, get to a point to where you're not doubting yourself and you're not living in lack, you know, and you're having everything and you're able to uh, be abundant. And now this is about building a, a foundation from the beginning and seeing what it really is that you want and that sufficiency and comfort when it comes to a cohesive unit. And the codependent says, it says unhealthy attachments to partners. It says sacrificing um, themselves for another, that's who you are, feels worthless unless they are needed. And, and respectfully, that's what codependency is. It's not that you feel worthless. It's just that you give too much of your energy to people who you see that need things from you or need some type of energies, uh, or need some type of healing and you cannot heal people you can only teach the people that are teachable and you can only show people uh and not tell them what it is to be able to heal you have to send strength and healing to them and if you don't what happens is that the shadow lover exploring their inner darkness walking towards wellness and wholeness learning to integrate their shadow self so this is what you teach people to do is to actually go within because once you remove your energy and you really start to make them feel different because you give them and shower them with all your energy and all the love that you can, whether it be material. It's not that you're a sugar mama or a sugar daddy. It's just that that's how you receive your blessings is by giving and doing things out of kindness of your heart. And, you know, if somebody mentions a book or somebody mentions something in regards to what it is that they want, then they turn, you turn around and just automatically do it because you heard them. And if you see something that you feel, feel like they would like, you get it for them, but that's taken for granted. And so there you have it. Let's pull from the four agreements, and then we're going to pull from the crystal deck. Now, the four agreements, if you want to know uh, my perspective on the four agreements and the crystal deck, I'm going to link it up at the top. The card that comes out is don't make assumptions. Yeah, assumptions is seeing potential in a person. Um, it says ask for what you want. Don't make it the assumptions that somebody knows exactly how you feel and what you want, and that's where the lessons of the past and maturing you're going to stay what it is that you want, whether you feel like it's something that somebody doesn't want to hear, you're going to say the things that you want to say. It says, find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to say to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to act likewise. Um, it says, everybody has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. And that is where you're going to uh, start to discern or determine what it is that you're willing to do for a person, place, thing, or a situation. You're going to say yes or no, and that's it, and move forward. You're not going to feel bad. You're not going to harp about it. You're just going to move forward because, again, you're not going to have any type of codependent energies uh, at all moving forward in any new or old relationships. So that is where you are. Let me pull from the crystal deck. Yeah, so I think that was a really good read. Um, yeah, so, again, if you want to find out what, my perspective of the or, or how I see the crystal deck, uh, excuse me, the chakras, click the links up above, the ruby kyanite. It's the root, the heart, the throat, and the third eye chakra. It's a manifestation, which is renewal, protection, and release. Again, releasing the things that no longer serve you, right? And it says, I release old patterns and easily manifest my perfect future. So again, you're not going to harp on the future because that causes anxiety. You're not going to be mad about the past because that causes fear for moving forward. You're just going to move in the present moment and know that the answers that you seek are within and you're going to trust in the divine in order for it to happen. So you already released this here. I released old patterns and easily manifest my perfect future. Let's release this old energy and let's move forward. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, 
heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.